So now I have to search for every single last scrap. This scavenging will be a common theme for the entire game. I mean, I need to feed myself somehow. Any amount that I get can be introduced to my lympha, which can then be passed through my heart. So I should get every single last bit whilst I have the opportunity. The sister is clearly focused around gold, so that is the only colour I can think of at the moment. But more colours will be introduced very shortly. Fill your heart fully. It is time to enter the void, where your colour will begin to dissipate. The sister clearly wasn't listening. I'm going to get all I can while I'm here. The very fact that I'm in a sister's chamber has a couple of quirks to it. First of all, I can run whenever I want to, using a select key. There are no enemies here. I'm fairly sure there are some more plants around here somewhere. Fill your heart to the bursting. Take colour from your memory and carry it to your heart, as I showed you. Delicious. I think that's about it. Oh no, one more here. Oh, I used too much, and the excess has bounced out of me. It sits here on the ground. So, I need to pass them into my heart. And as I showed before, was for display purposes only. And there we go. Now I've got enough space to pick up the rest. Good. Now wade into the water to enter the void. Look at your new body. And I'll spend plenty of time looking at my body, don't you worry. But for now, that's all I need to do here. And since we're heading off, I should mention that death doesn't work the same as in most games. Wading into the water, falling down a pit, he'll just kick us straight into the void. The mechanic is not dissimilar to the one used in Soul Reaver, except in this game it is very easy to die. Hopefully I won't be showing that off too soon. I'm going to paraphrase these words, just in case there are those of you out there not granting their full attention. Can't think why that would be. A man loses his soul if it gets too hungry, and it then falls down towards death. But once in a thousand times the soul will briefly linger in the void. So I'm only here out of a complete random chance. I was on my way somewhere. Where from, where to, and why did I start moving? The sister mentioned absolute death. Was I going there, or was I going somewhere better? Another void, perhaps. Probably somewhere much the same. Could I have been brought here? Did someone intervene with my fate? Did I come forcefully or willingly? All these questions will be alluded to, not necessarily answered. You can only get your soul back if it opens to colour, accepts it, and understands it. And then I can turn death back, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against me. Well, that sounds like a good place to start. We call this place the Void. Hunger rules here. Unbearable hunger. Colour used to be plentiful here, but it turned its back on us. Sisters died, compelling our raging brothers to beg the Void for forgiveness. As long as you're here, you will have to fight to survive. See these wheels? Inside each chamber, time stands still, but not here in the void. Color turns into nerva inside your hearts. Your life leaves as the color leaves. When your hearts are empty, you will die. Take care. other chambers use color to mark your path like this try it make a path with color and enter the chamber when you arrive so here i am in the void this is essentially my world map as you can see places i can't go to yet are reddened out so I can enter these three chambers, for now, Garden, Reservation, and Mine, plus the Aided, which serves no purpose to me right now. I've taken the time down to its lowest setting. As you can see up here, it gradually ticks down. As these units hit zero, the cycle will increase. Each cycle is like a day. As they pass, events will occur. Actions you have taken in one realm will come to fruition, 
as the cycles elapse. This could be all manner of things, so I won't say too much now. I've arrived here entirely by chance, so it makes sense that the world happens around me, and I am pretty much entirely incidental to it. So down here I've got my health. At the moment it's fleetingly small, but that's actually the maximum I can have at the moment. And I can control the speed at which time runs through. Although there's rarely any need to use any other speed than the two that you can control through hotkeys, having one that brings it almost to a standstill is very useful. The sisters seem to want me to go to the garden, so let's head there first. I draw a line across, and off I set. Speed up time, and get there earlier. If it seems a bit slow, I should probably tell you that this video, and probably the next one too, will all be tutorial, so just so you know. Chambers like these are gardens. You can grow colour here by yourself. Any colour, and as much as you want. Approach a tree and touch it with a drop of colour. I've been using the time she's been talking to pick some colour up. There'll be plenty of it, so there's no use showcasing anything in particular. I am that colour of your dark faces. There is no death in the void. And now the colour is whispering to me. And things have been so normal so far. And it's saying there's no death in the void, and I know for a fact that's not true. So, off to a bit of a suspicious start. By running around and holding down the right mouse button, you can pick up everything as you move. So, there's no need to center yourself and aim properly, as it can get quite finicky. At the moment, I'm only getting emerald and gold, which is quite interesting. They are the two colors. They are the two colors which are of most use to me right now. I've seen crimson, amber, silver in this first chamber. Especially the silver there is quite remarkable. It tends not to occur naturally. It's all delightfully random, where it is and how much of it there is. And here it's teaching me how to go into the camera obscura of the tree. And again, you don't have to use that much. You can activate anything using the tiniest flick of paint. In fact, it could even be a waste. I could do some tests, but I don't really feel it being shortchanged right now. And now it's time for a glyph tutorial. A heart grants you the knowledge to handle color. Color doesn't like to be wasted. Your first and most important heart is the donor glyph. This is forbidden knowledge and punishable by death. It is the ability to give, to rip color out of yourself and turn the dead into the living. Revive the tree. And remember, the more you give, the more the tree will give back to you. Each glyph comes with an example of how you're supposed to draw it, and this one is in fact extremely useful. This one down here isn't quite so good. What it really needs is a strong downward stroke to start off with. The control key brings up the palette, and then you can play it with the mouse, so if you're in danger of screwing it up, you can just let go of the palette key and save yourself from any wasting.